welcome back to Witch and Kitchen. I'm Justina, creator of Bohemi Magic Studios, and today I really want to show you a great recipe for the harvest season. Right now we are in uh, the time of Lunasa, also known as Lamas, on the Pagan Wheel of the Year, and um, I am just having such a fun time uh, celebrating the season. So right now is a great time to do any recipes using the uh, fruits from your garden, the fruits and vegetables that you guys grew over the course of the summer. One big symbol and uh, thing that a lot of people use around this time of year is corn and any kind of wheat or anything harvested from the garden like zucchini or squash or anything of that nature. I know we haven't had too much luck this year with the squash um, as far as the zucchini and our butternut squash. The squirrels keep getting to them or they're just I don't think we have enough pollinators around the bushes. Whatever the case, unfortunately we don't have too much squash to work with this year, so I am going to just use some store-bought stuff to make my harvest celebration bread today. <laughs> you gotta work with what you got, and uh, unfortunately we tried our hand at the zucchini growing this year and it just didn't pan out. So maybe we'll try again next year and hopefully we'll have better luck. But for now, we're gonna do something with some corn. So right here I have some old-fashioned stone ground yellow corn cornmeal and this cornmeal I wasn't aware but there's different types of cornmeal they make yellow white and blue I'm not sure what the difference between all of those is but I picked up some yellow cornmeal at the store so we'll be using this today I thought we would do another bread recipe I know you guys saw on my channel a couple of years ago I did a lavender cranberry rose cornbread and that came out okay it definitely needed some sugar I used a different recipe from a different book last time I didn't put sugar in it but this recipe actually calls for sugar. You can watch it in the info cards up here if you're interested in that. I still love that video and I still um, love that recipe but I think I'm gonna try something a little different for this year. So this year I also have some blueberries. As you guys know we are in August and uh, we just had the full sturgeon moon also known as the full blueberry moon. For those of you guys who don't know most of our full moons are named by the Native American tribes. They also call the sturgeon moon the full blueberry moon because around this time it is a really good time to harvest our blueberries that are really ripe on the vine right now so um, yeah you have a blueberry bush definitely time to pick those um, I don't have a blueberry bush so I'm going to use some store-bought blueberries with my store-bought corn and ain't no shame in that like I said haven't had too much luck growing stuff this year so just use what you have on hand just go to the store if you don't have access to something fresh off the vine in your back own backyard or if you can go to a blueberry farm to put, pick blueberries that would be really cool we did pick strawberries for the full strawberry moon at a patch a couple years ago but never picks blueberries from a patch so that might be fun eventually maybe next year so I will be making a blueberry cornbread with a lemon lavender icing so I think that will be really fun and festive for the harvest season and it'll be really yummy you can also use these breads to adorn your altar space or leave a little offering for the fairies outside in your garden because fairies do love their sweet little cakes and treats we're gonna get started so here is what we are going to need Feel free to pause the video now so you can gather all of your ingredients. You will need cornmeal, all-purpose flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, milk, one egg, and oil. And don't forget your blueberries and corn. In a large mixing bowl, we are going to add our dry ingredients. Let's start by measuring out one cup of cornmeal. One cup of all-purpose flour, quarter cup of sugar, three teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and now mix that all together. In a separate bowl, let's combine our wet ingredients. We are going to add one cup of milk, I use almond milk, but feel free to use dairy or any other kind of milk substitute if you'd like. Add one beaten egg, and one quarter cup of oil. Whisk that all together until all your ingredients are combined. Now we're going to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients and then give that a big stir. So now 
we're gonna pour this into our baking dish, but first we have to grease this. Now it's time to add our cute little blueberries. I actually forgot to film this, but make sure you wash these and definitely dry them off before you place them in your batter. And once you do, gently fold them in, ensuring that the blueberries don't break. Now these are completely optional, I forgot to add them in earlier so I'm going to gently fold them into the batter now before I pop this in the oven. This is about a half a cup of frozen corn kernels but I actually only ended up using about half of that. Gently fold those in and now it's time to pop in the oven. So now our oven is preheated, we are going to pop this in there for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the top is golden brown. So now while that is cooling, we are going to work on the yummy lemon lavender icing. Okay, so this is really simple. I have some really basic ingredients that we're going to use to make the uh, frosting glaze to put over our blueberry cornbread. We're going to use about six tablespoons of melted butter, about a quarter cup of the juice of one lemon, and we're going to use the zest of one lemon as well. This is going to make beautiful yellow flakes all across the top of our magical bread. And then we're going to use about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of dried culinary lavender buds. I got these at a farmer's market and you probably purchased these on Amazon as well. Just make sure they are certified organic. Um, you don't want pesticides in any of the food that you will be eating. You could just add these to taste. Add a little bit at a time so then can, you could always add more but you can't take out. So just remember that. I made that mistake in my last recipe video. My last cornbread video. And then the base of this is going to be about three cups of powdered confectionery sugar. So after experimenting with this recipe, I found that one cup of confectionery sugar should suffice. So to our mixing bowl, we are going to add our one cup of confectionery sugar. Now we are going to add two to three tablespoons of melted butter. I am using Earth Balance Vegan Butter, but feel free to use dairy butter if you would like. So I would use a microwave, but sometimes things just taste better with a little bit of magic. Once your butter is melted, set that aside, and now it is time to juice our lemon. Now we are going to take about one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of our lemon juice and add it to our confectionery sugar. This is just to start off. We can always add more later on down the line if we want to thin our glaze down. Now add your melted butter and stir until all ingredients are combined and there are no clumps left from the confectionery sugar. I'm adding a little bit more lemon juice to thin out my mixture and lessen the amount of clumping. 
Now, instead of throwing away our lemon shells after juicing, we are going to put the whole thing to use and grate the rinds to use it for the zest. This will produce gorgeous yellow golden flakes throughout our icing and it's going to look so pretty on top of our bread. Now let's add our dried lavender buds. I started off with about half a teaspoon and eventually added a whole teaspoon. Just remember, you can always add more, but you can't take out, so definitely do this to taste. I just really love how the soft purple of the lavender buds and the golden yellow flecks of the lemon peel complement each other and really pay homage to the season of our first harvest. The lavender buds really give this glaze a soft and subtle taste and the lemon peel gives a nice tartness so rich and reminiscent of summer. The first harvest is our chance to soak up these last bits of heat and warmth and give gratitude as we celebrate the abundance of Mother Earth and all of her wonderful gifts. Okay guys, so I just finished putting together my frosting and now I'm going to put it all together. And this is my favorite part. I have a cute little platter right here with a bunch of pears on it. Reminds me of the harvest time to gather all that fruit. So I'm gonna use this plate. Let's plate our yummy cornbread. It looks gorgeous and it's still a little warm, but I think that's fine because the, um, the warmness will actually enable the icing to uh, cover it more. It'll melt nicely over the top of this and by the way this is the icing mm. it's like the perfect balance between tart and sweet and the lavender gives it a little soft little flair which is really nice so I can't wait to try this combination together Okay guys, so now that I am finished with my yummy cake and glaze, I think I'm gonna go out to the garden and maybe I will adorn it with some fresh flowers. I have some sunflowers, so let's go take a peek and see what we can find. some fresh cut little sunflowers. Let's put them on our dish.
different for the next time. I'll probably put less glaze on it. The glaze all absorbed into the cake, but it's still good. This is very sweet and tart with lemon. But that lemon zest and that lemon flavor, the lemon juice in the icing, so good. So refreshing. Nice touch to the end of the summer with hints of our first harvest. We got some corn and some blueberries here. Celebrating the blueberry full moon the other night. So nice touch as well with the blueberry. I got all the elements of August in here in one bite. You can check me out on my Instagram page at Bohemian Magic Studios and you will find the whole written recipe as well as some more gorgeous pictures of these on my recipe blog on my official website, bohemianmagicstudios.com. I hope you enjoyed this dish, guys. If you do decide to do this recipe, I would love to see how yours came out. Just remember to tag me at Bohemian Magic Studios in all your Instagram posts. And if you comment below, I would love to hear from you. If you decide to try other elements, uh, if you want to try orange zest instead of lemon zest, it's all up to you. You can tweak it depending on your personal tastes. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, celebrating Lunasa, Lamas, and uh, our first harvest. I hope you have a very bountiful first harvest. I, on the other hand, did not have too much of a bounty of this first harvest. The hurricane today just destroyed uh, one of my sunflower stalks, which I'm very upset about. I just feel like nature is against us this year, but hopefully next year we'll come back bigger and stronger and we'll learn a lot from our failures this year and use them to um, have more of a successful first harvest next year. So let me know in the comments below how your first harvest was. Did nature work against you or did you have a big bounty this year? Uh, one thing that I realized that I, I'm missing in this vlog... Boopies! didn't get to say hi. So, Coraline Kitty says hi. Happy first harvest. Say happy first harvest. Say meow. Yeah. All right. So, me and Coraline wish you guys a very happy first harvest and happy Lunasa. So, yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Blooper. So, thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. Happy first harvest. Happy Lamas. Happy Lunasa. Whatever you guys decide to call it. Hope you're having a good one. If I don't see you guys with a craft project or a recipe before then, I will see you for the next Sabbath. Blessings, bless be, love you guys. Mwah. Bye. Thank you so much to my patrons, Megan Baker, Dee Carubia, Michelle Zeman, Rachel Carter, and Alyssa Wilson for making this video possible. If you would like to help support me on my creative journey, you can visit patreon.com slash bohemianmagicstudios where you can join me in celebrating the full moon every month at my virtual tea party in my private Facebook community. You'll also get exclusive Book of Shadows pages, personal development worksheets, access to all of my lower tier Patreon rewards, and new friendships to last a lifetime. I really hope you'll join us for these transformative virtual parties. Register now to join us for the Full Corn Moon Virtual Gathering on Saturday, August 29th using the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you back soon.